Hi there, guys! I'm so happy to be invited to this sponsor event of Miss Universe Philippines. Gel Life is a new beauty company who specializes in anti-aging and placenta beauty products. So let's talk about beauty for tonight's episode with a Miss Universe Philippines 2024 candidates. Hi, Alexandra! Hi, everyone! I have a question for you. Hello. Inner beauty or outer beauty and why? Hello. I'm sorry, Adam, but I have to choose both. Why? Because, of course, inner beauty is very important because what's the use of being beautiful outside if you don't, you don't have that uh, good personality or good attitude towards other people? And outer beauty is mainly because I want people to listen. Sadly, in real life, um, a lot of people would listen more if you are attractive. and Or if not attractive, just you look um, presentable. That's what I learned when I was teaching in college. I'm teaching in co college right now. So that's one imp very important also because I want people to listen to me, to what causes that I advocate for and what are the reasons or what are the reasons why I joined pageantry. I want people to listen to me clearly and I want to make an impact to them. That's why. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. How are you? I'm doing amazing, Adam. How about yourself? It's so good to see you again. I'm having a blast meeting all of you again. It's so good to see you. You look stunning. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks to my glam team, of course. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> so I've got a question. Yes. Why do you think society puts so much emphasis on physical beauty? I think beauty has been kind of the forefront of our society for as long as we can remember, right? But, you know, I feel like the universe really gives us unique traits, and why would we want to diminish that? I feel like society has a certain type of mold or beauty standard that we're meant to fit. And I think in terms of unique representation, we're headed somewhat in the right direction, but there is still so much more uh, to accomplish. And uh, I think MUPH is an incredible organization for us to to showcase that we are more than just our outer beauty. You know, as women, we are powerful, resilient beings with the power to paint the future. And yes, people may tune in for the glitz and the glamour aspect of it. But really, this whole pageant is about us brilliant women coming together, showing that we're more than just our outer shell and uh, to really speak about the things that we care about. So, Thank you. Hi, Mary Josephine. How are you? Finally, no meet na rin kita. So I've got a question. Okay. Are you afraid to grow old? Am I afraid to grow old? No, I'm not. I think that um, with age, there, there comes beauty. And I think that age is a beautiful thing. I really embrace that I have wrinkles now um, because it shows that I have learned a lot, a lot in life. And I'm, I want to learn more since I'm young, and I'm so excited to grow old also. Hello. Hi, Adam G! Wow, wow, to be fair to you, you're white ka ngayon. Cream, yeah. in my defense, this is a part of the color palette, so we're not going to get our hair. Anyway, speaking of ulo, let's let me pick on your brain again. Let's do it. Okay, I have a, I've got a simple question. Alright. Are you afraid to grow old? Absolutely not. I think getting older is a privilege. You know, I look at the women in my life and all the women I look up to are more seasoned in their years. There is a wealth of life experience that comes with getting older. I can't wait myself to settle into my 30s, 40s and 50s and beyond and settle into my womanhood and embrace my age and transcend societal stereotypes and expectations of a woman who is more seasoned and more advanced in years. So at 26, are you having the best time of your life right now? Absolutely. And we're only leveling up and getting better from here. I would not, honestly, I would not go back to being 18, even if you paid me all the money in the world. There is so much freedom in... Like I said, just settling into your womanhood. I feel so much more powerful now. I have so much more agency now. And I, I, I can feel myself getting better year upon year. And it's a privilege that you get to witness my growth. You're not year three of, of being pals. And I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that I get to grow up in front of your, your eyes too. So how should I describe your 
growth, more like a metamorphosis or an evolution? Ooh. Well, you know, what's, what's great about my growth, I think, is we're not building from scratch. We're building from a strong foundation. I, I know I mention my mom every interview, but it is because of my mom and my grandmother who raised me that I am the woman I am today. And because of the foundation that they gave me, I am able to build an empire of my own. And isn't that exciting? Isn't that, isn't that what's so beautiful about being a woman and being human is to be able to evolve and come into your fullest self and unleash your fullest potential. Wow, and we can't wait to witness that here. I love it. In MUP soon. All right, thank you so, so much. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Hi again, Adam. Nice seeing you. Always good to see you. You look amazing as always. Thank you. So I've got a question. Are you afraid to grow old? Am I afraid to grow old? I'm actually not afraid to grow old, especially someone who's entering the competition at a later age, after the age restriction has been lifted. I'm someone that you know wants to promote inclusivity and um, go against ageism because I think when you grow old, you gain knowledge, you gain wisdom, you gain experience that is undeniable and that you can't compare to your younger self. And of course, with you know sponsors and products like Gel Life, if you're worried or afraid about the physical attributes, um, there are products that can help reverse or you know slow that down. So I'm not afraid to grow old at all. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah. Hi, BBB. Hello. Kamusta ka na? Pabuti naman ang ganda po. I still can't get enough of your evening gown photo. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, so I've got a question. Are you afraid to grow old? Uh, honestly, yes and no. And I'll explain why. So, no, because I think being able to grow old is a blessing. You know, to be able to live life to its fullest and fully experience everything from any phase of your life. But the one reason or the main reason I'm afraid to grow old is... Um, I mean, Shempre, I'm from a different generation of, from like my parents. And so growing old means losing them at some point. So, yan yung biggest fear ko actually, you know, the day that, or, you know, in the future na nawala yung parents. Ko. So, yes and no for different reasons. Thank you. Thank you Hi, Jet. How are you? Hi, Sir Adam. I'm really good. How are you? I'm doing fine as well. So, I've got a question mm. Inner beauty or outer beauty, and why? I would choose inner beauty because outer beauty is subjective, but inner beauty is undeniable. Short, uh, what's Short, love. <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. So I've got a question for okay. you. Which would you prefer, glow or grow? Ooh, I would have to say glow because I think really glowing from within can be a reflection of your outer self. As someone who works um, as a skincare business owner and also a modeling coach, we really focus from inside out. So I would definitely say glow because you can glow on all aspects of your life. Hi, Adisa. Hello, Kuya Adam. You look stunning as always. Thank you. I've got a question. <laughs> all right, what is it? <laughs> outer beauty. Which would you prefer, outer beauty or inner beauty and why? I would prefer outer beauty because I'm shallow, but no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that there has to be an important balance of both. But as someone who really value um, who I am, I really prefer inner beauty because... I believe that beauty lies in the way you make people feel whenever you're around them. So I would value more in your beauty. <laughs> Hi, Raven. Hi, Adam. So nice to see you again. You look stunning Thank as you. always. Thank so you. I've got a question. Why do you think society puts so much pressure on physical beauty? I think it's because of social media. I mean, as a communication student, I study how media works and how it can shape our point of view, how we view ourselves in front of the mirror. And of course, as someone, as a woman, when I open Instagram, I see a lot of beautiful faces. I see a lot of things that I don't have physically. And I think that that's one of the main causes of our insecurity. But I guess one tip for that is to really focus on your own being, the things that you have, because there will always be something inside of you that will be different. And if you just come to realize that and you can attain, I, I am confident that you can attain uh, the self-love that you've been aiming for and self-acceptance, as well as recognize how beautiful you are as a person and how much you can contribute something to the world too. <laughs> Thank you. Hi Alex. Hello. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you so so much for allowing me to interview you. I've got so many viewership on my platform. Always. Also thank you for you know giving me the opportunity and at least 
people know you know the reason what and why why you know why you're fighting for what i'm fighting for you're a baby man <laughs> thank you so thank i've you. got a question mm -hmm. would you want to live forever i mean i would love to if living forever means that i could continue to empower all people forever then i would love to live forever but if that just means that it would limit me to do something else then i would rather just live until i'm 70 but i know that i live my life to the fullest and i leave a legacy behind thank you <laughs> hi ricky how are you hi adam i'm feeling really great today so i've got a question which would you prefer glowing or growing First, for me, in the beauty pageant industry, I love to choose growing. Because you know, when you grow, you've got to accept a lot of challenges and risk. And of course, if you grow successfully, even failure, you know, you get to glow as well afterwards. So I really like growing. So that's my answer. In fairness, and it's with more. Hi, Matea. <laughs> nice to meet you again. Nice to see you again. Hey, Adam. So I've got a question. Okay. Why does society put so much pressure on physical beauty? I think that society likes to make impressions and to make a quick impression it's obviously looking at someone first but I think in terms of physical beauty it's always just wanting to base some type of standard of beauty of women and I think it's kind of hard to do that because you for in order to know a woman you should know who she is internalized first and the thing with physical beauty it's constantly changing and it's different with every region if you look at greek the aphrodisiac beauty is different from say a culture in africa so i think with in terms of physical beauty it's just trying to make a quick base impression on who someone is just based off their their looks and i think it's beauty is way more than just external features it's a lot more in who you are who you want to present yourself to the world and physical beauty is it's just a little, a little tip of the iceberg of what is compass a woman and a person itself. <laughs> Hi, Anita. Adam. Nice to see you again. Me too. Uh, <laughs> Gahan dami kong views about our interview together last time. Yes, I'm so happy. Nice. Feel her appearance ngayon for today's ganap for today's event. I would say. Mino mga fans, and dami na tuwa na inspire sa story. Ayon. Yeah, I, I don't know, maybe it's outfit, like, just different. I've got a question. So, which would you prefer? Yes. Inner beauty or outer beauty, and why? Don't forget to Definitely inner beauty. Because oh, I, um, I think we are in the era where women yes. are celebrated have, for their inner qualities. Yes. And if you are beautiful inside, that will definitely be radiate edit? out. No. So, <laughs> you know, the beauty that you have, the confidence that you are expressing, your individuality, it will touch people and will hopefully inspire them to be confident in their own skin as well. Because you know what? Beauty is about loving yourself and accepting yourself for who you truly are no matter diba? what so yeah definitely inner beauty who are you trained in the Q&A? on my list so, as of the moment um, attorney JT Hello. <laughs> we had some like long sessions because we're busy pass up now I don't know I just want to know I'm going to answer wow thank you Anita thank you so much for your answer. hi Christina Adam, it is so good to see you again. My goodness, it was only just yesterday. Yes. <laughs> you know, first of all, I would like to thank you for allowing me to interview you because there's just so much viewership on my YouTube channel regarding our interview. So, wow. I, think I was the lucky one, to be honest. I mean, you entered my life, <laughs> showcased me to the world, and now I'm just really grateful to be here with you again today. There's so much interest about you right now. The, the reviews about our interview are glowing. I, I was having a read at the comments and I, I just couldn't believe how receptive everyone was. It really warmed my heart because I've been abroad in the UK representing the Filipino community. And of course, we have all of our, you know, our culture and our friendships and whatnot. But to be able to come back to the homeland and have so much support from the get-go is huge and you know feeling the love every single day yeah so i've got a question for you that's why i'm cornering you right now <laughs> so here's my question just very easy i'm sure you're gonna slay this are you afraid to grow old it's a huge question isn't it i think when i was younger i really was afraid because we have so many according to society so many goals to hit before 
you hit 20 before you hit 30 40 50 and it was it, the pressure was almost crippling however once I reached 30 I realized oh I didn't actually meet those goals and I'm still alive so what was the point in putting so much pressure on myself there wasn't any everyone grows in their own time yes we are getting older but we're getting more experience we're meeting new people we're learning new things and it's just a beautiful journey at the end of the day well said thank you so much thank you adam as always <laughs> hi ricky how are you hi adam i'm feeling really great today so i've got a question which would you prefer glowing or growing first for me in the beauty pageant industry i love to choose growing because you know when you grow you've got to accept a lot of challenges and risk and of course if you grow successfully even failure you know you get to glow as well afterwards so I really like growing so that's my answer in fairness and it's with more how are you I'm doing great thank you <laughs> my first time to meet you so but I'm gonna grill you with a question now <laughs> so which would you prefer growing or glowing Growing. <laughs> Why? Because with growing, you glow. You will glow already, and then with growing, there's like healing already with that, and it's complete already when you grow. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Hi, Zelina. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you again. Me too. Singa mo interview. Di pa kita na interview na full length. So I've got a question. Are you afraid of growing old? No. Direct answer is really no. I mean, I'm embracing how I'm aging in a way because feeling ko yun lang yung time na na-realize ko na it's not bad to grow old. Kasi before, iba yung itsura ko, iba yung katawan ko. And na-embrace ko yung pagtatanda, pagtanda ko because I'm able to experience more. Parang you experience more in life you do things more as you grow old, as you age. So parang for me, I'm not afraid to grow old. I'm actually embracing the fact that I'm one of the oldest candidates in the batch. Thank you. Laban la. Yes, of course. Hi, Tara. Hello, Sir Adam. And hello to the supporters of Sir Adam. It's nice to meet you again virtually. So I've got a question for you. Who's the most beautiful woman for you and why? most beautiful woman for me it would have to be really my mother because without her she won't be really providing or having a beautiful daughter <laughs> but really kidding aside I see my mother as the most beautiful woman because she is a woman of courage a woman of empowered and a woman who can really be brave despite of all the obstacles that she really faced. When my father passed away three years ago, she took all the burden of being strong and being brave for her to take care of us, her family. And that is how I see my mother as a beautiful person. It reflects her inner beauty from the outside beauty. And that's what's more important. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sir Adam. Hi, Victoria. Hello, Sir Adam. It's so good to see you. Me too. So I've got a question. Are you afraid to grow old? Oh, wow. That's a very philosophical question. I would say I'm not afraid of growing old. You know, I've come to terms with the fact that life is something beyond my control. And if I focus on that fear and wanting to control the life that I live right now as a 27-year-old woman, then I would not be able to live the life that I want fully until I grow old. So yes, I am not afraid of growing old because what matters is I focus on the things one step at a time, day by day, until I reach that point. Thank you. Well said. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you around. Okay. So I've got a question for you. Yes. Would you want to live forever? As um, hmm, as beautiful it is as a gift to live forever, I do just want to live a beautiful and memorable life, and I want to to live and have good, beautiful memories with my loved ones. For someone who has been in this world for 34 years, I have experienced beautiful love and uh, painful loss. Um, it is both a gift and a curse to live forever because it means you have to go through the pain over and over and over and over again. 
but I just want to live and make beautiful memories with my loved ones. And more than that, I want to live a life that will be one of the many reasons why people will be inspired to push through with their dreams, to fight for their dreams, and to make their dreams come true. Ang deep mo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dagang salamat kaninyong tanan. You're welcome. See you on Sunday. See you. <laughs> Hi, Micah. Hello, hello. Good day, Adam. First time to meet you, finally. And I'm really so happy to have this conversation with you. And lagi kitang napapanood talaga. Ever talaga since. Pa. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got a question for you. Sige, let's pick your brain okay. for this ambush interview. Do you think Miss Universe's standard of beauty is changing? Why or why not? Um, honestly, I believe that the standard of beauty of Miss Universe is really changing and evolving. And I'm one example of that because first, I am 30 years old already. So I am one of the first ever batches that passed the age limit and now is part of Miss Universe. I never thought that this year I would be one of the official candidates. Second, I am standing 5'4", and sometimes in the world of pageantry, they say height is might. But of course, we are celebrating, especially this month, we are rem remembering that we need to keep on empowering and celebrating womanhood. And with Miss Universe, this is indeed the platform celebrating all types of women. And what one thing I really like the most about Miss Universe is the inclusivity. Kaya naman, Adam, in this year, I would want to remind every single woman that babae, hindi ka kulang o sobra, sapat ka. Wow, those are nice words. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sana ma-interview pa kita in ng full yes, length. I'm then looking then forward. Yes, I'm looking forward. Especially with Adam. <laughs> Nako, sa pageantry world, Adam is Adam. Hindi <laughs> kaya, ano ba? Don't patronize me. But thank you, thank you so, thank so you. much. Thank See you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And my love for you is beyond the universe. Hi, Alexi. Hello. So I've got a question here. So... Do you think Miss Universe's standard of beauty is already changing? Why or why not? I believe so. I think yes. Um, as we've seen before, the women of before, they're all beautiful and, you know, as they what they are. But then right now, we're in this era that we showcase women regardless of who they are, or where they came from, different skin tone, different background. And the beauty standard of the pageantry world right now is so much complex than before like me right now before if you think of i don't think that a woman looks like me or had a skin tone like me would be able to represent a competition or a pageant but right now i think that they're open with that and they're not only open with that but they welcome those people and let them people let those people feel represented that you know regardless of who you are or the color of your skin or whatever it is that everyone is beautiful in their own ways. And I think that it's a really good platform to show to people that beauty pageant is so much more than just physical beauty, but also in the inside that women are capable of so much more, not just pretty face or pretty body, but you know, with pretty words and pretty vision at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. So there you go, guys. I hope you had fun with my ambush interviews with some of the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 contestants with my light beauty questions. Sino sa inyo ang nag-stand out dito sa event na to? Well, let me know on the comment section down below and I'll see you on my next video. Good night, guys!